there is an unholy bargain that your country and your culture will offer you in that they will provide you substitutes for self-esteem, substitutes for self-regard, substitutes for authenticity and self-actualization. And one of those substitutes is cheer for your bullshit sports team. It's natural. Uh, it's a form of gambling with your nervous system so that if your team wins, you're very happy, and if your team loses, then you're very unhappy. Uh, it's Russian roulette of uh, adrenaline or depression. And people offer that to you uh, in return for control over you and money. Most sports teams uh, take liberally from the public purse, either directly uh, or through the funding of sports stadiums. So uh, it's, a, it's a ripoff. And people will offer you this, this costume of falsehood, right? This costume of false identity, which is you cheer for the guys in this costume. You don't cheer for the guys in this costume because they're bad and we're good. Uh, all of this sports, of course, historically, and I'm talking about, you know, organized public sports, not I like to play squash tennis, which I do, but sports as a whole has been for ever and a day sponsored by the state because it is a good preparation for war because it tells you that your geographically accidental local team is good and the geographically distant accidental team is bad. This is a rehearsal for loving your country over others, your local rulers over other rulers who may in fact liberate you should they take over. So sports has historically been a rehearsal for war, which is why it has been so funded and controlled and subsidized by the state. So if you end up sacrificing your control over your own emotions, your control over your own responses to the random accidents of uh, rip-off sports players, then this the natural result, is that you will end up surrendering to mob mentality because you fundamentally lack an identity of your own. Your identity is painted on you like the ridiculous people who cover up their bulging bellies in green paint to celebrate some green costume team. You, uh, you sacrifice your own identity, you sacrifice your own reality, you sacrifice your own self, who you are as a human being, in order to trail after the tidbits of hyped up and pumped up players paid for through violence against your own pocket and so that really that results it's very sad it's very tragic and it just shows you how far we have to go as a species when people will no longer strike out like sad little fish at the bait of a false identity with the hook of social control from others and a loss of control over one's own emotions at some point people will stop doing that but that point is not imminent and the results of these sports addictions these very sad Sports addictions are very clear for everyone to see. Minei demonico di nera demonista. Mi smo jedna velika hipnotisana gomila.